now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. All right, everyone, we are less than 20 days away from Christmas. I figured it was time to break out the dancing elf. We haven't seen him in almost a year, right? So here he is, and he's on my graphic here to talk about the white Christmases we've had in Boise. So the probability of having snow on the ground on December 25th is only 28%. That may seem lower than normal or lower than uh, you would think, right, for December 25th. The most snow we've ever had on the ground at, uh, on Christmas Day, 9 inches. And that's happened twice last year, as we all know, 2016 and then in 1983. And the probability of new snow falling on Christmas Day, 14%. So there is a possibility that we could see some new snowfall and some snow on the ground. But at this point, if our weather pattern holds like we think it's going to, it's not looking like we will have much, if any, snow hardly anywhere across much of central or southern Idaho in the next couple of weeks. We are very clear this morning. Look at this current satellite radar picture. You know what's happening that this is current because there's snow falling in eastern Montana right now. But otherwise, it looks almost like a still picture, right? because it's just so uneventful right now across the northwest. But this high pressure that's just going to anchor itself, dig in its heels and stay put for quite some time. We call it a blocking ridge. That's what's going to create our inversion conditions. We'll have some moisture around, but look at this. It all goes up and around that big ridge of high pressure. So southern Idaho all the way through next week. This is December 15th. It doesn't look like at this point we will see any precipitation at all. We'll start getting a little warmer, hopefully by the end of next week, but temperatures will be chilly. Things will be hazy and the sunshine you'll have to head up above about 4500 feet to find that nice clear unfiltered sunshine in the coming days. This is the McCall extended forecast. McCall's high temperatures for nearing the middle of December are usually in the upper 20s. Look at this. We expect mid to upper 30s in McCall through the middle of next week. Chilly mornings, yes, down into the single digits. But still, if you really want to see some sunshine, you're going to have to head up to the higher elevations. But today, everyone will get to enjoy beautiful, abundant sunshine once again. And when I say sunshine, remember, during inversion, skies are clear technically, but we get that fog and that low lying kind of stratus deck feel at the surface. So it's going to feel gloomy and kind of hazy. 34 today for Ontario, 37 for Caldwell and CUNA. We're looking at about average temperatures for today. 36 in Idaho City, up to 40 in Garden Valley today. Low 40s for the Riggins area. Mid 30s for McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade. Just another beautiful late autumn day ahead of us across the entire region. 30 in Stanley this afternoon and in Sun Valley. Chilly in Fairfield, Ohio, about 31 for the Camas Prairie. We're looking at 37 in Gooding, 35 in Twin Falls with that fog developing late tonight into tomorrow morning. And this will likely be the last day of our beautiful, clear sunshine. After today we'll likely start to see our air qualities erode a little bit. We'll see that haze move in and it will just linger for the foreseeable future with highs barely getting above the freezing mark very likely all the way through early next week.